The great and all-powerful moon has blessed us. Blessed us with a task that we must complete for their sake. And because I feel bad for all the things I've done to Moon in the past, I'm gonna do it. And, you know what? I think I'm gonna walk there. Not that I necessarily don't want to just teleport there, because I do, but I think I'm gonna walk there because there's gonna be a lot of this world that I haven't seen. A lot of new places, because this all seems relatively new. That it would kind of be neat and I would miss out on if I didn't walk. Oh. Well, I'm not even halfway down through Moon then, huh? Because I swear I've seen this before. I, I really don't want to throw my spear in here because I don't want to accidentally stab some things I shouldn't be stabbing. You know how it be sometime you do the stabbage that you don't mean to stab? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I recognize this place! This is the busted up part that goes right to Moon from Shoreline. Yeah, because this is where I eat all of the, like, the little uh, plants. The lily pucks, or whatever they're called. Oh, that's so cool. And over here is where I get zapped by the jellyfish all the time. And then I also run into a couple scavengers who just hate me for some reason in this area, normally, on most of my playthroughs. So if I go off to the right, that will lead directly to the moon. Well, I mean, in the crumbled up version of this, it leads me directly to the moon. So, oh, I'm so curious. Why do I have to be such a curious slug cat? I just, ooh, I gotta know. This is either gonna be super interesting or a giant letdown when I go this way. I have the time, I wanna explore just a touch. Yeah, because down here, there's like a centralized area. Yeah, this is it. And then I just go off to the right, and there should be a moon waiting for me. In theory. I don't think that's what's going to be waiting there now. Or there is! This could lead right directly to a moon, like normal. It does. Moon's right there actually right there. Oh, but I can't get through this way. Oh. That's kind of cool. So it all kind of looks the same, but it's not. It's not anywhere near the same. I can't get here until things crumble down. That's neat. I'm sad because, well, I mean, we know what's about to happen to Moon then. But... It's neat to see all of this in this state when Moon was m still fairly mighty. Not nearly as mighty, apparently, as they once were, but fairly strong still. So that should mean there is something below me. This should take me down. This sh should probably take me down into power, probably like the power relay systems that we saw before in five pebbles but this is absolutely just like five pebbles design which i mean yeah it makes sense i'm not saying anything that's profound because they're both iterators they both have the same sort of internals but i guess i sort of kind of expected 5p to be an iteration of an iterator I expected the design to change slightly. Something to be more efficient. Something to be slightly better. And I don't think that's happened. I think in their hubris, they came up with one specific design, saw it worked, and just kept using it and not trying to improve upon it at all. Either that or they already sort of kind of saw the writing on the wall and they knew that this wasn't going to, like, this wasn't going to be the end-all be-all. They weren't going to use these iterators for very long. They only had specific needs for them, and once those needs were sort of kind of met, they knew they were just going to be rid of them because they were going to leave. They were going to be gone. Either that, or they knew they didn't have enough time. Because some of the iterators kind of say, hey, you know, all the people we're doing this for are extinct. 
not gone, but extinct, which is kind of a new take on that because I thought 5P and Moon said they were gone. But that could be just them softening the blow a little bit, you know, like not wanting to feel directly responsible for the fact that their creators are extinct because they didn't do their jobs fast enough. That could be what's going on. It could also just be maybe they don't didn't really feel the need to explain themselves to a small tiny creature who they're not even certain can understand them even though they gave me a speech module. Uh, it, either way, it's kind of neat to hear the different takes on them and to see how the iterators act when they are they think nobody else is listening as opposed to when they think other people are around. Definitely don't want to go out there. Maybe I'm okay in this structure? The rain's here, though. It has started. So... I don't know if Moon is going to take a nap. and Maybe no more gravity to help me. That would be okay. I would be okay with that. What I need is sleepy spot. I need a good sleepy spot. And then I need to head left as quickly as I can. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Not only did me just rummaging around in the dark find a sleepy spot, which I was looking for desperately. I found a karma gate. I don't know where this karma gate leads, or if I've even been in this sleepy spot. It doesn't look like it, because none of the other areas are sort of kind of connected. Is this where I was supposed to be headed? Anyway? That would be so cool if I just randomly <laughs> stumbled on where I'm supposed to be going. I... I honestly don't know. Is this exactly where I'm supposed to go? Is this going to take me over until sh into Shaded? That would be awesome. No, not exactly right into Shaded, but... But free food! Free food's always nice! Bye, you idiot! <laughs> Loser. Oh, I can't stand when those bugs get oh so confident and decide to just set up shop right in front of me. How do they think I'm going to miss them that way? If they're already set up, fine. I get it. But the fact that they disrespect me enough to try to say, hey, they're too stupid to see me here. When I've actively seen them walk and get ready for the pounce, I don't like it. I don't like that much disrespect. <laughs> if you're going to speak by name, Agent 69 put some respect on it is all I've tried to say. Because slug cats are very squishy creatures. If there is an old slug cat, like Agent 69 is old, you need to respect someone who's in a profession, which is carrying mail, um, through probably the most hostile environment I've ever seen. You you need to respect someone who has gotten old doing this. And that's why they've gotten... Oh, no! Son of a... <laughs> I didn't see the lizard! I stabbed the drop bug because I saw that one. Didn't see the lizard. Like I said, put some respect on that name. God. <laughs> why is it when I'm trying to do something? I always... That always happens. I'm trying to sound cool and, like, tough. And never comes across that way because I instantly pay for it. God, <laughs> just one time, one time. I'd like it not to just bite me instantly in the butt. Literally that time. I know, sorry, that was a bad putt, which is only making me look worse. <laughs> but God, please, just give me once. Mm. Oh well, I guess it's true. Just need to stay humble, stay in my lane, not get... Because I saw that bug. I really did. I just didn't see the lizard. I just thought it'd be really cool if the second I got grabbed, I stabbed it really fast. To, like, prove my point. <laughs> oh, so much for planning stuff. <laughs> it's okay. It's time to take some risks. We're going to be doing a lot of fast paced jumping action. Oh my god. 
I don't have... I don't have the patience for this. Everything's going that way, so let's go that way. Now where? No bug! Go the way you need to go to get to a sleepy spot! Please! Have I been here? I feel like I've been here. I feel like this might be... No, it's not. It's different. This isn't, like, the shoreline area. No! Okay. Well, we know. And I'm okay. <laughs> and I'm not. I was dead. But we know where to go. I, I know where I'm headed. I just have to do it faster now, now that I'm not second-guessing everything. And I don't want to waste any time with any creatures. So everything is going to be one big speedy jump from this point forward. This will be the fastest you've ever seen Agent 6-9 go. Time is fine. Time is okay. Oh my god. That cyan lizard is- they're getting good. <laughs> they're getting really good. I never thought that they would actually be able to kind of predict where I am. I- I think they don't. I think they do what I do, which is they live very reactively. So... Oh my god, move! Oh, actually. Give me this. <laughs> no. No. <clears throat> Where am I? <laughs> I knew that was going to happen too. I don't know what I expected. I thought maybe I cleared it. Like I was hoping I could drop down and then use a spear boost, which was going to just explode when it hit that anyway. So I was done. Either way, though, I think I'm going down. I don't think I'm going off to the left there. So I'm going to go back, going to get there, and going to continue to go down and see what's beneath me. Okay, I know it's getting close, but I have to see this, right? I have to know? Oh, no. Oh, don't let that cyan lizard get me while I'm reading, please. <laughs> okay, I think everything pauses. Five pebbles, big sister moon. Source node, trace... Whatever. Okay. Um, five pebbles. Please stop messaging me. I cannot help you. You could. I cannot even help myself. Oh. <laughs> Buddy, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Oh. They sent a message. The message is they don't care enough, I guess. At least that's what it seems like. Oh, God. Or they at least care enough that they feel bad for what they did. So, I guess that's not true that they don't care at all. Oh god, I have plenty of time for fight. There are lizards and... Uh, there is so much going... No! Mo! No, 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 no! Screw off! That's my pearl! Give me my pearl! Give, give, yes! Go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 sleepy spot. I need one. Uh, hopefully down. Down's wrong, isn't it? But I can't go up, so that's okay. It's okay. That's what it is. Uh, oh my God. I do this every time. I ran right by 
the room that had the sleepy spot in it in my panic. <laughs> God, it was right here! Oh, well. I, it was better to find it now than to do this a million more times and run right by it. So I was actually trying to go through this entire place on one rain cycle, and that's not going to work. It, it's very rare to do that knowing what way you're going, especially on a short cycle. So doing that without having a clue is just worse. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So far, I think it would just be simpler for me to take my pearl and get through go back through waterfront because i i have this mapped out i kind of sort of kind of know the general direction i'm supposed to be going in no okay it landed on that ledge thank goodness that's why these snails are absolutely my biggest enemies stay away from me stay far away from me no it just just stop. No! Just, just let go! Holy crap. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Now, what? Uh, <laughs> hey. The everything. Everything is my biggest enemy now. My pearl is rolling away. <laughs> I've tried to get back up to that one particular sleepy spot. Just leave me be. Which hand is any of this in? Okay. Good. It's going that way. Stab that. Good! I have my food! Why was that harder than it needed to be? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. My nerves are just on edge because I don't want to go back up there and deal with any of that. Once I'm here, I'll be fine. Everything is okay from this moment forward. Perfect. I'm here. I know where I'm going. I'm going back through Waterfront. That'll be easy. Going back through Shaded. That'll be easy. Up Chimney. Not quite as easy. <laughs> but I'm going through all of that. And then I'm going off to Sky Island. I'm pretty positive that's where I need to go. I don't think I need to go back up to the precipice. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I'll find out in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care and goodbye.